guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing an e.l.f. haul, which I am very excited about. I don't order from e.l.f. that much, uh, just because I've had a couple of bad experiences, but they sent an email a couple of weeks ago uh, giving me 40% off, and I jumped on it. That usually doesn't happen. They have sales a lot, but not where it's 40 or 50% off, and if you're waiting for the 50, I believe that happens... I want to say Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. I ordered what I feel like is a lot of things from them and it's satisfied by craving. So I think I'm good unless they come out with a bunch of new things. So uh, let's get started. The first thing is this contour palette. I have been really into contouring lately. I think I overdid it today, but that's okay. I just, it's been fun. I don't really. I don't usually like to add additional steps to my makeup routine, but I feel like contouring is more beneficial than not. So I, uh, when I saw this, I just was really interested in it. And so it looks like this. I love the packaging and these are the four colors. I, these two are cool, are warm, like this one and this one, and then this these are cool so I feel like they give you a nice mix and I did swatch it here the swatches are not that great but I feel like um, they're gonna be okay to use not terrible I don't know it's just a little bit powdery and this is just one swatch of everything so um, we'll see how it works on my face and if you are new to elf or you're wondering about their blushes specifically get the blushes that come in this kind of this quad because those are fantastic they have a light and a dark i have both of them they're both great uh the single blushes i know a lot of people like them but for me they just never worked right they were very powdery and the ones in here the blushes are fantastic so i'm hoping for good things with this uh the uh next my makeup item which i didn't get a lot of makeup uh, I just feel like I have more success with their tools. Um, so this is the Smudge Pot, and this is from their dollar. It says wine dollar. Uh, you know how they have a dollar section. Uh, this is the Smudge Pot in Wine Knot, and I love these kind of colors for fall coming up. And it is officially fall, so happy fall to everyone. Uh, I feel like um, like everyone else, but I love fall. I. I if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I get hot very easily. So the fall weather and winter weather, I'm very excited about. Maybe not the road conditions of those uh, of winter, but I love the cold weather. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And let's see. I've never had a smudge pop before, so I don't know how it's going to work on my oily lids. But this is a beautiful color. Look at that. Let me swatch it right here. Oh, it's really, really nice. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm really excited to use it. Hopefully it doesn't break down on my oily lids. Next is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this one is a medium brown. And it's a really dark brown color. Uh, the pencil on this side and then the spoolie on the other, which I really appreciate. I, I think that is very helpful uh, when you're doing your eyebrows. And I actually like the e.l.f. spoolie, so that's nice. Uh, here is the point, uh, which is going to lose its point in the future. Uh, but this is the color, and I think it's going to be a good match. I feel like sometimes with brown pencils, eyebrow pencils, it tends to lean towards the red side and that really doesn't, you could tell when I use a product with red undertones, it just doesn't look very good. So I'm hoping for good things with this. And then for tools, I got a lot of brushes, uh, but the first one I'm going to show you is the blending sponge. And so this is supposed to be uh, sort of like a beauty blender, which I love. I use that to apply my foundation, and every time I use it, I find brushes to be a lot easier, but every time I use the beauty blender, I'm like, I need to use this more. I really think it applies your makeup so nicely, and so I want to try to find a dupe for it, and I was... I was regretting when I put this in my uh, shopping cart and I bought it. I was kind of regretting it. It's probably the one product that I regretted buying. But it it is more mushable than I thought it was going to be. So I'm hoping that it works out okay. Uh, I guess the Beauty Blender just can't be duped. Uh, it's just a great product. But I'm hoping that this will work somewhat well. Uh, let's see. Next is I got some eyelash curler replacement pads so I got one in the white 
and the black. I just, I really like the new uh, eyelash curler that e.l.f. came out with. I know a lot of people like the old one, but the new one just fits my eye better. So, a dollar eyelash curler can't beat that. And I got two replacement pads for it. Next is the Ultimate Kabuki Brush. I believe this is compared to the Becca one, which I don't have any Becca products, but I really can't wait to try their highlighters. I wish they would come out. Let me know if there is even a Becca highlighter a palette that you know how the hourglass has one I would really like to try a palette form of the Becca highlighters maybe for the Sephora VIB sale anyway here is the big kabuki brush I, <laughs> when I look at it I'm like this is huge this is kind of silly look at how big this is oh my goodness it's very very soft though oh my goodness I can't believe how soft this is Wow it's like a baby bunny it's really it feels really really nice but I don't know I think this is better for things like here which I have been doing um but man oh man is it big so if you have a really small face I don't know if this is gonna work out for you especially face wise maybe like over here I'm gonna do a review video on a lot of these products hopefully in about a month so we'll let's Let's see how that thing works out. I got another powder brush. I just feel like the I have a couple and just one of them is looking old and I really like this brush. It makes foundation application so quick. So I really like that brush. Uh, then this is the blending brush. It says create a false look that's beautiful and natural looking. I think this must be for a liquid powder, liquid cream or mousse formulas. So pretty much anything. Okay, so this is the blending brush. I'm not sure what I thought this was going to be. It's different than I thought it was, but I think this is good for... I can't see this working for foundation. I don't know. Uh, for blush, maybe. For highlight, too. And for bronzer or contouring. Uh, next is the contouring brush, which I was excited about this. It kind of looks like the one I just showed you, but um, I mean... Let's see. No, it doesn't. Sorry. Well, it kind of. You, no, it doesn't. Okay. So, I'm really excited about this one. This is kind of like that eBay brush that I bought that's specifically for contouring. So, it's going to fit right into here. I'm really excited to use this. And I think you could even turn it and use it on your nose, too. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this brush. Uh, and then, I think that's... I showed you everything. One more product. Uh, this is the Ultimate Blending Brush. And let's see here. Oh, yeah. This is really nice. So I am, I don't, I, you know, this is, I would have loved this for foundation, but it's definitely too, um, it's too flexible for that. For foundation, I, I think this would be good for blush, for powder, even for contouring but not for foundation which I'm kind of disappointed in but it's a really nice brush all these brushes are super soft so that's the end of my elf haul I'm really excited to start using these things and I will definitely get back to you if not in an elf specific review video then uh you know a whole bunch of things including the elf stuff but yeah I'm just so excited I hope it gave you some ideas on what to put on your elf wish list and I hope you guys are all doing well I'm doing pretty well I finally got over my cold that I had for oh, I don't even know what it was but it was something that just would not go away and what you know what helped me the most I, I took medicine but what helped me the most was just getting a, enough sleep I just wasn't getting the proper sleep and after a good night's sleep I felt so much better and I know I still sound a little stuffed up but that's just that's actually just me so I'm sorry about that but I I'm feeling better and I'm getting used to a schedule which I haven't I hadn't had in a very long time so I'm very very happy and I hope you guys are happy too and I'll talk to you soon bye